Hello everybody, what's going on tonight? I see that there is a problem with the chats on YouTube, so let me see if there is something I can fix on there. I don't know why it would be turned off, but apparently there's a new, yeah, there's a new thing here. Why are chats not available? 60 seconds we show how. That is crazy. How in the world are they gonna turn off chats on my that's just crazy, guys. I am so sorry that that is happening. So sorry. Well, what are we going to do? If you want to chat, my friends, why don't you head over to Facebook and watch watch me on Facebook tonight. That really stinks. But, uh, yeah, that really stinks. All right. Well, you know what? We've had enough. I've had enough with... Uh, stinking technical difficulties and no chats with content for ch I did not set this up for children I don't know why it would say that this is not a children's channel there maybe that's why maybe I can turn chat on now I turned that thing off for kids and so maybe maybe that's what it is Chat, chat, chat. There we go. All right. All right. It looks like I've got it fixed. If you're watching on YouTube, let me know. I just had, when I set this up, I may have accidentally clicked that, uh, this is for kids button on YouTube, and they limit lots of things if you do that. So, they may have to press live. I got it fixed. I got it fixed. So let me see if anyone is on YouTube, please, please, please let me know if you can chat or not. I want my friends from YouTube to chat as well. All right. What is happening, guys? Are there any, is there anyone new here tonight? I want to see if there's any new folks. If there's any new folks, just type in new and a big exclamation mark. And tonight we have a new code for you guys for saving 15%. The Cyber Monday and Black Friday sale is over, but uh, Amy from Colorado Craft Company was gracious enough to add a new code, and you can see it right there, right there. Save 15% with code Dell and Artie on all of your purchases at Colorado Craft Company tonight, and you can just go directly there to Colorado Craft Company to shop. There is my, there's a link there for you guys. Also, if you want to see the rest of the supplies I'm using, there's a link there for, for that. I wanna hit, get right into stamping tonight. So if there's some, uh, if I don't see anybody typing new in here, which I don't, but we have a, I mean, we don't want you to just be a spectator here, or a looky-loo, we want you to participate with us. So hop in here and um, let's see, did I do that? I didn't do that, let's see. There we go, you can support this channel <laughs> by giving a thumbs up if you, and uh, hitting the subscribe button if you think that this is anything helpful that you've seen here. So I'm glad everyone is on, everyone's hearing, everyone's seeing. Thank you guys. Hello from Iowa. If you can't chat, just uh, refresh your screen. It should work when you refresh, okay? Hi, Amy. Nice to have you back, my friend. Also, every comment is uh, an entry into the giveaway tonight, so please keep the comments coming and lively, and we will have fun. Uh, <laughs> Hi, George and Diane Petrata. Probably Diane. Maybe George. I don't know. Welcome, you guys. New from North Carolina. Susan Drago is here. Welcome, Susan. Hi, Aline. How are you? Hello, hello, Rhonda. How are you? Welcome, Rhonda Liebert. I'm happy you're here. Hi, Boo Nichols. Nice to have you. All right, all right. A few new ones here, right, Donna? Thank you. Everyone make all the new folks feel welcome. Hi, Serving Up Memories. I'm glad you're here. 
And Sabrina Sandberg is new. Chris Dougal is new. Awesome. Oh, good. Rhonda, did you enjoy that water painting one? Donna and Diane says Donna or Diane says she's new. Dan Petrada is new. Welcome, Dan. That's my name. I'm also Dan. <laughs> and Martha Deans is new. I think I said her name or Danes. Uh, Jacqueline Jessen from Melbourne, Australia is new. Rhonda's new. Maureen says she's new-ish. Well, welcome, Maureen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Susan is new from North Carolina. Dina Grassi is new. Bonnie Gunn from Hello, or Hello, Texas. She's from Texas. <laughs> Hi, Sean. How are you? Hello, hello, hello. I'm so happy all of you are here. I love you too, Bon Bon. I love all of you. Shlona, I know you're not new, my friend. I'm always seeing you here. I'm happy about that. All right. Um, I don't have any kitty cats in my studio yet. I tried to get one to come in here yesterday, but they didn't. He didn't want anything, anything new, anything with it. He didn't want anything to do with coming in. Yeah. All right. I've got to get on to the show. So uh, I'm happy to have you here. If you're on YouTube, there's a super chat button. I would be thankful for any super chats that you send my way, and those are always fun. I have music to dance to for that, and I think I've got it working now. Woo, isn't that fun? Give me a give me a round of applause for that. How many of you make your own envelopes? I want to know if you make your own envelopes. I'd love to hear what you do, and if you see me doing something, you're like, ah, that's not right. I'd love for you to chime in and let me know, Daniel, that's not right, or that's not how I do it, or I do it this way. And Marcy Joe, she's an oldie but a goodie. Welcome, Marcy Joe. She runs uh, Stamp Junkies, and I'm happy to have Marcy Joe here. How many of you have this contraption? This is a We Are Memory Keepers, and it's dirty because I am neglectful at cleaning it. I had thought I cleaned it a little bit yesterday. But apparently I didn't clean the front of it, just the inside. So, and then watch me open it up on the inside. It's going to be dirty. <laughs> if you have this, say amen. If you have it. Maybe you don't even know how to use it. Well, I'm going to use it tonight. We're going to make an envelope with that. But we're also, I'm going to show you how to make envelopes with just your score buddy. This is my score buddy. And I can use this with an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and make an A2 size envelope. And I'll show you how to do that. I'm gonna use this trimmer. This is a Cricut trimmer. I bought it Joanne Fabrics probably. And we're going to be decorating envelopes tonight with stamps from Colorado Craft Company, of course. This is my friends at Colorado Craft Company has given, have given us two stamp sets to give away this evening. So that's kind of fun. It's really fun, not kind of fun. I'm gonna use two different kinds of paper tonight. I'm gonna to use Bristol Smooth paper, which is big and that's the main reason I'm using it, but I do love the texture of this and how to use it. And then I see lots of amens coming up here. So yeah, you guys have that. Now, if you know how to use it, that's what I wanna know. <laughs> Boo, you make your own envelopes, that's cool. So this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of Nina Solar. Nina Solar, I can't even talk, Solar White Cardstock. But I would rather use, for my envelope, I would rather use the 80 pound. The 80 pound is much thhinner and better for an envelope. Rhonda, I've been stamping for about two and a half years. About two and a half years. All right, I'm going to take you guys down to my workspace. There's that subscribe a uh, reminder there if you're not subscribed please hit that subscribe notice that'd be awesome i would love to have you subscribe and if you would like to do it who just sent me a super chat that was so kind lisa thank you so much if you would like to um subscribe <laughs> all right lisa wants me to dance right let's go to let's go to dance mode again i'm just gonna do my 15 second dance Oh, 
That was cool, huh? Fun, fun, fun. All right. Uh, I'm breaking out my memory misty here tonight. And I'm breaking this out because it's big and spacious and I can get more paper inside it. So uh, if you don't have one of these, you could probably get by with using a regular misty. I'm just using this one tonight because it's a little more spacious for me. That was the Hero Arts version of it, officially made by uh, My Sweet Petunia for Hero Arts. So don't be hating on me if you think that that is some kind of knockoff because of the color. It's actually, <laughs> it's actually a an official Misty. All right, and I need to put my phone on airplane mode or on silent. Let's do that off airplane put that on silent and i'm going to watch you guys on youtube as i well this probably isn't going to last very long but official misty there we go amy miller sent me a man i'm getting lots of of super chats tonight thank you guys all right let's give you guys a hand clap i had my <laughs> I had my uh, comments, it wasn't going down, right? My comments were not going up. So who else sent me a super chat? I see a couple super chats. Bonbon bon sent me a super chat. I don't know why I wasn't seeing that Bonbon. Bon. Okay, so let's do, let's do Dance Fever again. You can't see that. Christmas dancing? Is that a thing? Rocking around the Christmas tree would be. Anyone else here play the piano? I play the piano. I've been tempted to bring my keyboard over and play for you guys. I just don't know how good I am. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for those super chats. I really appreciate it. I... That's why I wanted to turn my phone on so I could see if anyone super chatted me and I wouldn't miss any of those. So those are very important for me to catch. <laughs> I don't want you guys to miss the opportunity to see me dance, right? Right? Those are so important. Dance sessions are very important. Okay, let's see here. Now, with this, we are Memory Keepers punch board. There's, uh, the reason I like it is because it makes things super easy. The reason I like to use my score buddy for it, though, is I can use an 8.5 by 11 sheet and still get an A2 size out of it. But I haven't been able to do that with my 123 punch board. If I'm not mistaken, it needs to be a, much, a, a larger piece. It needs to be square. So if I'm going to look at my punch board, see, I told you it would be dirty when I, when I, I think I have coffee dropped on there. <laughs> but if I'm going to get an A2 card out of this uh, sheet of paper, it needs to be eight and a quarter inches square. See that? Eight and a quarter inches square and our sheet of paper is eight and a half by 11 so yeah i can get i can get an a2 size envelope out of that what was i thinking this whole time let's trim our nina solar white cardstock down to no this is going to be our this is going to be our uh, Bristol Smooth cardstock. That's what I want to do. trim my Bristol Smooth cardstock down to eight and a quarter inches, eight and one quarter by eight and a quarter. Thank you guys for joining in the fun tonight. So helpful and so thoughtful, so sweet and kind and gracious. All right, and now I'm going to get my memory keeper punch board out, one, two, three punch board. And what it wants me to do here on the guide, if 
you look at the guide, it says for an A2 size card, that's what we want, eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. I'm gonna take my cardstock out to three. Ooh, let's get it right there. Three and five eighths. Now, if you're old like me, I'm 46 years old now and I need glasses, I think, because I just can't see things like I used to. I'm going to take it out to three and five eighths and I'm going to punch that. It's going to make a loud noise. And then I'm going to get my bone folder. I'm going to use my smaller, no, I'm going to use this bone folder. And I'm going to come over here to the A. There are two little lines here. One's to make boxes with, one's to make envelopes with. I'm going to take my bone folder and put that right there in the A line. And I'm going to draw score line there like that. And then I'm going to take that same line and bring it over till it hits this score line. Until it's just kind of nestled in there like that. And then I'm going to score that again. So, right there in the same place, same spot. Oh, and I also need to, I need to punch that right there. And then I'm going to take this one and go to three and five eighths with it. Basically, it just goes to that same line. Punch that. And then do this. You can do this with watercolor paper if you want a watercolor paper envelope. What I like about it though is it really does create a fun option for stamping, creating your own, uh, creating your own kind of custom envelope, right? Now there are lots of things you could do with this. You can, you can create a liner for one of these, an insert that would be cool. You can uh, stamp an image here and color it. That's what I want to do. And um, but I'll show you how I fold these up. You just the indention, just like you would on a piece of cardstock. You score it there and then fold it away from your score line, away from your score line. That keeps it from uh, tearing. So I'm just going to take my bone folder and finish the creases here. Like that. But I'm not going to tape it yet. All right. I have a piece of score tape here. Hey, Emma Hall, how you doing? Yeah, I am still young, 46, but I feel like my doctor told me a while back I was going to need glasses and I didn't believe him. I'm like, no, I'm the only one in my family who doesn't wear the glasses. Like my, my wife and kids all wear glasses. I think my kids inherited my wife's eyesight because I have 20-20 vision, but I sometimes need I mean, I can read really well every all the time, but either I need more light in my room or I need glasses just to see a little bit better. Now, tonight I'm going to use this stamp set. This is a... <laughs> Daniel is a baby. Yeah, I am a baby. Marcy Snee, you fun girl. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hey, Libby. Thank you, Marcy Snee. That was awesome of you. I appreciate that that uh, super chat. <laughs> so fun. All right. And this is Frosty's hat. So you take that big old hat out of here. And because I want to make sure I have plenty of room for my I can hear myself talking over there. I want to make sure I have plenty of room for my address here and my return address here. 
I'm going to stamp this this way, right? So I just make sure that that is in my corner there, just like you would any other time. Get a magnet, just place that there. And now I'm going to mask this off. So I have a piece of purple tape there. I'm just going to lay that down. You see, I've already used this purple tape. I like to use it as much as I possibly can. And then I'm going to mask off this area. Like that. Right? There. All right. Then I'm going to get out some intensified black ink from Hero Arts. I've been working on next month's release from Hero Arts, the My Monthly Hero, and it's gorgeous. So I have my Hero Arts inks out. <laughs> All right, I do. I want to make sure I'm not getting this over here. I'm going to get my Numinator out and just press down here a little bit. This is a little wooden tool. Some people call it a Chucky. It's not for sale. I'm sorry. It was a gift that someone handmade me and sent to me. So I'm going to stamp that one more time. some muscle into it. Looks like I may need to re-ink my re-ink my intensified black. I don't think we have re-inkers for it though. All right. So let's see, do I have another ink? Handy. I thought I had a. Oh, here's. I have another. Another. Uh, intensified black ink right here. There we go. Okay. Now there's another piece to this stamp that I just think is really fun. And it's this uh, piece of, it's like a plaid stamp in here. We're going to put that on there in a little bit. But first let's color in our Let's color in our hat. And I'm using Bristol Smooth because I want to use my brand new Zig Clean Markers. These are fun to use. And I'm going to get a little brush out. Um, this is a number eight, I think. Number nine. All right. And we'll use that to actually to actually blend this out with. And I'm gonna spray out a little bit of water up here at the top. And I'll use that to wet my brush with. There, all right. I'm gonna grab this, that's green. Let's see if I have a black here. This is black. I'm gonna start with this one right here, just coming out to the edge with the, the darkest part of this hat all the way out to the edge. And this Bristol Smooth will hold up to a little bit of water, so not a whole lot, but some. I'm gonna take this wet brush and just kind of 
run that over my black ink. Smooth it out that way. And I'm going to take this. And do the same thing on this side. Let's try to stay on camera, Daniel. And this time, I'm going to go back the opposite direction. So, a little fun there. But I think I want to add some violet in here. And what violet does is kind of, um, kind of makes it look like it's nighttime, you know. So, I'm just going to add that all the way from the back to the, to the middle, toward the middle. I'm not going to be able to go over this a lot of times with water because you can overwork Bristol Smooth cardstock and it will be peeling up on you and you don't want to do that. You don't want it to peel up on you. Let's grab more water. And let those kind of meet in the middle. <laughs> right now it looks like a pilgrim's hat. Oh. <laughs> um, Libby says, yes, bring on the purple. She loves purple. Oh, nice, Amy. That's great. She brought bought her own. That's good. Yes, this is a number nine. Just kind of a larger, larger tip, larger brush. All right, and let's do a little bit more under here. Now, I wet that with the black, didn't I? But then I didn't smooth it out, so get some water out here. I'm just going to pull that ink out, pull it out toward the left-hand side. And then knock it back a little bit. Apparently I need to add a little purple in here as well. Now with envelope art, I'm not going to be super, super duper picky. Because I already spent a lot of time on the project that I'm going to stuff inside it, right? But I, I do want it to look really fun. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time on it. Now for the... Let's see, for this um, band here on the hat, I'm just going to color it in a little loosely with this uh, lighter violet because I actually want it to appear white, right? So when I do that, I am, um, in, in real life, things aren't actually white. Right? They're actually different colors. So I'm just going to take my brush and pull that out here like this. And this one over here. Pull that out there. And then knock it all the way back to the edge. This is a really just fun. <laughs> it's fun to me to, to play like this. All right. And then the rim of the hat is going to get some black back here. It's going to get a little bit of shine there. Right there. Right. And then I get my purple. My violet. Add that right there. And then my brush.
Now there's some spaces in here that I'm just going to fill in. It's not a big deal to do that. Do what you want. It's your project. You can do what you want with the image. And then underneath here, I'm going to paint that. Kind of do a bit of underpainting there, I guess. <laughs> but this is the, actually the underside of the image. So I'm going to want it to be a little bit different. Like on the inside, I'm going to paint it just purple. But right here, I'm going to paint this kind of black under here and then gradient, gradient down here, blend it down here. Pull that color down. All right, and then I'm going to do the black all the way over here. Do you catch what I'm trying to do here? I'm just going to add a little bit of black under there as well. I want that to look a little different. Did I get that wet right there? I think I did. It's okay. I'm going to get a clean rag out. Clean that up right there. Then I'm going to dry my project. Because I want to stamp on top of that. I'm just going to put my zigs back. Get my drying setting on over here with my wow embossing tool this is the low setting oh good amy <laughs> that's good There's the shopping list I put out tonight. I didn't actually put my zigs on there because I that was kind of a last minute decision. Also, I wanted to remind you of this right here. 15% off tonight at Colorado Craft Company. Oops, let's see. There we go. Yeah, so it's, you know, it's good to make all of our Christmas cards, but we've also got to get them out the door. Now, you can just slip them in an any old envelope. That's kind of fun to decorate. So now I'm going to get a long acrylic block. This is a Catherine Pooler acrylic block. I'm just going to get my long... Um, plaid uh, stamp out here, All right, and I'm going to ink this up with, um, what color should we make the plaid? Should we just make it black? Well, I'm not sure how inky that one is, that black ink is. I have another color here. We should make it purple, right? Right, Libby. <laughs> I love purple. I love purple too. All right. I need a really nice purple ink out here. That's solid. I love this one here. This one's from Gina K. It's called Plum Punch. We'll see how that one works out for us. I better mask this off.
Oops. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that fun? That makes it so much funner. I just think that's really fun. Now, I've got some areas that really are out of out of whack here. See that? That right there is not going to do. <laughs> I'm glad Shalona bought this stamp. That's awesome, my friend. Wouldn't that be fun, Lisa? I love this envelope. Betty, these are Zig watermark. Uh, they are water-based. Yes, they're Zig real brush pens. They have an actual brush on the tip like that. It's not uh, like a water brush right there. That's what it is. Give them a whirl. Oh, that's cool, Melanie Ann. That's fun. <laughs> I got to get my comments all the way up. How many like that plaid on there? Isn't that plaid fun? I do too, Marcy Joe. I think that's a really fun stamp set. All right. Now, you remember this white ink that um, I showed you the other night? It's good for correction too. He he he. Really good for making corrections. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of it right here. And I'm going to cover over the area that I messed up. And I think I'm, I may be making a bigger mess of things because I didn't clean my brush out first. Isn't that nice? Anyone else do that? And think, why did I do that? All right, let's try it now. Let's try it all over. I'm going to dry it and then try it again. Yeah, the plaid really makes this thing pop. I love it. All right, let's try it again. Now that I dried it and I cleaned my brush, this is really great for making corrections. <laughs> Love this stuff. All right. It's like almost like correction ink. I'm just going to rinse it out a little bit, get the rest of that ink out of there. All right. Now it's ready for, it's ready for um, an address, right? So I'm going to actually stamp, let's see, we got here. <coughs> I'm just going to put this right here. I'm going to put this uh, Believe right here. I just think that's really fun. Really fun. I'm going to ink that up with the Gina K ink. Just stamp it down right here. Believe. This isn't a card, so uh, it's okay to put a sentiment. It's okay to leave one out, right? Okay. And now for the sentiment not the sentiment, the address, I'm going to use a calligraphy pen, not a calligraphy pen, but a lettering pen that I have here. And you're going to see me attempt to do lettering, hand lettering, right? Um, the first person I see an address pop up for in the chat, gets this envelope so we'll do it that way if you type in your name and your address real quick for me I'll put it on here now you have to wait for you guys <laughs> Don says her address put your address in there Don <laughs> 
First address I see pop up. That's who I'll send it to. <coughs> Needs to be in the U.S., my friends. I need to send this in the U.S. Sorry to all my friends in other places. Okay, the first one that came up was Melanie Ann. <laughs> all right. The first one that came up was Melanie Ann. But I need your... Um, I need all I need a full address there, Melanie Ann. All right, we'll do Lisa's first and then we can uh <laughs> we can go back on the next one. All right. I got to put Lisa Lisa Zubak. I'm just doing different kind of letters here. And that's 65. East. Let's see, 4200. South. And that's Washington. Utah. And the zip is eight, four, seven, eight, oh. Okay, now see where the A, the W, A, and the S are? Those are just a little bit um, not seeable. So I'm just going to take a white brush pen and go over the, the sides of them so that they can be read a little bit more easily. Like that. See that? Washington. Now they can be seen. All right. What do you think of that, guys? Is that fun? I know it's a little disappointing if you didn't if you didn't get it, my friends. I'm sorry, but I can do lots more. So I'm gonna do a few more of these. They'll be fun to do. All right, and now let's finish up our envelope. I think I got my got it in a little bit of water up here, and. <laughs> You guys want to see someone do even better envelopes, try Star of Me. She is fantastic. She's not as good looking as I am. Like, she's not bald or anything like me. But, uh, <laughs> she is awesome. Christina Werner. Okay, now, I showed you earlier I, I had some score tape, right? So, for this project, what I do is just take some score tape, find the end there, and do this right here.
Nope, the ink's not wet now, my friends. That's not wet either. Nothing's wet now. And I'm just going to take this here. <laughs> I put I put that on the wrong thing. I put that that tape on the wrong side. <laughs> that was smart. <laughs> but I'm not going to uh, move that. It doesn't matter. It's going to be seen not going to be seen. So just like that. Oops. Christina Werner is a fun person and a great artist. Not that I know her personally. But. And then you take, um, if you don't want to do a liner here, which I don't ever do really, I should, I guess. But I just, I ordered a set of dies for that recently from the last uh, Simon Says Stamp release. So I'll be getting a liner soon. And there's the inside. So when you're ready to get your card stuffed in there, you peel those off and then you have a wonderful little well-designed card uh, envelope to put it in. All right. All right, let's do another one, but I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my score pal instead of my punch board, all right? And in order to do that, I'm just going to grab a card that I've done recently. Let's try this card that I made the other night from Concord and Ninth. And I don't have the measurements memorized, so when I do this, I just kind of uh, go by the seat of my pants. But I'm going to make it like this. So basically, you just take your sheet of paper. This is so much, it's really easy, super easy. And you take, get it right about in the middle. Right, and you leave some some room for it. So I'm going to score it here at three eighths inch, and I just want to make sure that when I turn this over, that this is also about three eighths inch. Yeah. Let's see where that is. Not exactly. But that's fine. Three eighths inch on each side. That's what that's what it really works out to. And then make sure you're scoring in the same on the same side of your sheet. Right. Let's get this up. Finish this up. Okay, and then we need to score it this way. So we're gonna leave some space. Let's see. We need it to fold longer on one side than the other. So we're going to do this at the three inch mark on this side. Makes it super easy. And then on this side, we're going to do it at, we're going to do it at the three and three eighths inch mark. That'll leave us extra room there. We could make it tighter if we wanted, but that'll leave us a little, give us a little grace there. Three and three eighths. And now it's just a matter of cutting this down. So I'm gonna leave slots in here, grab my scissors. I'm 
like that, like that. Cut these tabs off here. You're not going to need them. Now, if you are getting lost with me tonight, just watch this again and replay it and replay it and replay it until you got it. Okay. Anyone else have a crocodile tool? This crocodile tool will help you get rounded edges, right? If you want to do that. But first, I like to I like to actually cut this like this. I like to cut these in at an angle. Right. You can just eyeball it. It's not necessary to be perfect. Right. If you're super anal about things, you may want to measure stuff out, but you don't have to. I really do like to have this angled off just better. They fold better and look better, I think. There we go. All right. So there we have our envelope all made up. We have the longer side here, the shorter side here. Either way, it doesn't matter. You can do either one of those. And then fold that one in like that. And that one in like that. All right? And for this one, I'm actually going to put the glue down the adhesive down first. I'm going to put it on this side of the flap. Like that. So there I have my perfectly made envelope and our card will go right inside there. It'll slip right inside there like that. Right? Isn't that fun? Super easy. So you can do the punch board if you want it. You can do that. Maybe you find that better. You like the style of the envelope better. But this one does, for me, it does just as well. Right? It does just as well. See, it's not perfect, though. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter a whole lot, unless you're super anal about stuff. <laughs> now, the crocodile, if you wanted to use that... You could round these edges a little bit. Oops, that didn't. That didn't. Let's do this one. <laughs> you can just round those a little bit if you want. I think I had it. There we go. That's cool, right? Now we're gonna put this in our misty. stamp this little guy right like that let's get it right there I prefer to actually move that all the way to the corner that way if I need to move it I can you know so let's pull this guy off and we'll start over the placement There we go. All right. Let's get my ink out here. Let's 
There we go. I think this big memory misty is a lot of fun. Okay. Let's color this in with some Copic markers now. I like to shop for Copic markers here at this place. Let me give you the address for that. There you go. VioletaInc.com. But I'm going to color this one in green. So I'm going to underpaint it with an R20. Let's see. Do I have an R24? I would rather do an R20. I guess I can do 24. I'll do an R24 for the underpainting. How about R32? It's a little better. A little better. Not as dark. Okay. And then our green, we'll use this G29 and a G24. All right. We'll use those. So underpainting is just kind of adding some desaturation to the, to the edges where there are shadows. So I'm just going to add that to the side here. I'm going to, this is called a fence just, uh, out to the edge there. And then this right here, a little bit there. And then I'm just going to underpaint the whole inside of this hat. Cause we're going to do a different color in there. And now I'm going to get my darkest green out. You want to color in, cover over all of that red, right? But I'm not going to do the same distance from the edge all the way up because the hat is at an angle going off the page. So I just want to follow it up a bit. I do want to cover all the red though with my green marker and I'm just flicking, I should have done a fence here as well. Flicking out with my green Copic marker, the darkest one. going to color that in solid green. All right. And then I'm going to take a, a lighter G. This is G24. I'm going to blend that out a little bit. It's not going to blend a whole lot. Not with this cardstock anyway. I think I maybe I can get another G20 something. Let's see, do I have another G21 20 something in here? You see, I'm carrying <laughs> I've got all these markers because I just haven't put them back in my in their spot. So let's see if I have a G20, a little bit darker G20 something over here. G12, 18. No, I don't. But I have a middle green here. Let's see what that is. G03. G05. Let's try that. Let's try G05 and see if that helps blend this a little bit. Yeah, that's going to be a little better. Brighten it up a little bit too. I 
And then I'm going to take my lightest green, oops, wrong end, and kind of go over that. So there we have a green hat. It looks like it could be uh, a leprechaun's hat, right? We don't want that exactly. But um, let's do some underpainting here on the outside. And here underneath, and we'll lighten that up just a little bit. Was that the wrong one? Let's do 29. You wanna cover up all your red with your darkest color. And you can see I'm kind of flicking in the same curvature as the hat. Just going to blend that in with the, the middle the middle five that I have, the middle green that I have. There. Just add that in right in there. Under the rim. And then all the way up. Now we don't want this to look like a leprechaun's hat. So we're actually going to stamp this in. We'll color this in in red. So we'll get out our darkest red, R29. We'll do R27, R24. And we're going to underpaint with the G24. So I'm using an underpainting color that is opposite on the color wheel of the one that I'm going to actually make my main color. So I'll do R29 here. I'm going to do a fence there real quick. R27, go out just a little bit there, and then an R24, to blend into the middle, and now it's looking more like a Christmas hat, right? Let's find my block with my with my stripes on it and we will ink this up with some black ink. Stamp that down. This is just so much fun, man. I think that's a really great little <laughs> great little stamp set. Really cool. Isn't that cute? All right. I need to know if Melanie Ann sent me the rest of her address. So Melanie Ann, you were next on the list, right? Bonnie says she was first. Bonnie, I send you I send you cards all the time, so <laughs> Melanie Ann, Savoy, Illinois. Okay. Now you can't argue with the moderator Bonbon because I'm the one looking at my so Savoy, Illinois. Okay, I'm looking at my list here, not your list. So it may pop up in a different order for you guys. Mercy Joe said I could make mil a Wooly Wonka hat. See how far back I am from comments. Where did Savoy? So, okay, 160 Paddock Drive. I'm going to put this down here, so I'm going to have to do a little bit. Okay. 
Melanie Ann, 160. Paddock. Drive. And that is East Apartment Four. And that is Savoy, Illinois. And the zip code is six one eight seven four. There we go. Okay, so that one's gonna go to Melanie Ann. Thank you guys for putting putting your addresses out there for us. <laughs> Melanie Ann, don't be mad though, because I actually put that in upside down. <laughs> it's upside down, but it's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I made that upside down. All right, you guys wanna see, let's do another one. I'm having fun doing this, so let's do another Bristol Smooth. You know what? I have another kind of paper here. It's marker paper, special for Copic markers. It's called Express It, and I'll use that and sh see how that one looks. All right. I'm sorry I'm missing your comments because I was reading all of that. If we all send our addresses. Can we have a card and envelope, please? <laughs> Lisa, that's funny. You know what? I can put you guys on a list. Wouldn't that be cool? So if you want, you can... I'll set it up. I'll have to set it up somehow. So let, give me time to think about how to do that, and uh, we'll, we'll try it. I know Christina Werner does that, right? She does that for her folks. Why can't I do that? Well, I can tell you, number one, why I can't do that, because I'm terrible at sending things out, but we'll see what we can do. <laughs> All right, I'm going to trim this down to eight and a quarter. I'm going to I'm gonna actually do this with my punch board. By eight and a quarter. And we'll do this punch board here. Three and five eighths. This is Copic paper. It's like specially made for Copic. So I'm going to mask it out this time and put in some. Um, Put in that daisy because I haven't used that yet and I really like that little daisy. Oh, five eighths right there. And then right here. There we go. Oh, I forgot to round my corners. Let's do that. Round those guys. One, two, three, four. Four. There we go. Okay. Let's fold it and then we'll stamp it. I think that was much easier. It was much easier on me. Are you asking me, Beth, what city I live in? I live in Providence, Rhode Island. 
<laughs> I'm trying to look at comments. Okay, let's see. One more up here. Now I'm going to help me. I got to remember to mask off the. I got to stamp the. Um, the flower in here first. So let's do that first. gonna go right here so I can put that in that corner up there and use my intense black ink I'm happy you're enjoying this mom snoozy three <laughs> okay and then I'm gonna bring that down here right or is it here yeah that's where I want it all right now in order to mask this I'm gonna um, get some masking paper out here I know I put some pulled some out a while ago oh, I don't see it handy so let's just grab a piece of paper here it doesn't matter ink up my flower and then we will make our own little mask out of this paper going to trim that out real fast. I don't know. Is this a good idea, this paper right here? Anyone else like me, just grab whatever is in your near your hands and, and you use that. Mary, get on it, my friend. She says that she's only made a few a few cards. And you bought a ton of stamps. You got to get your cards made. I think we are. We love making stuff. I love making stuff. And I like sending it less. <laughs> but I do need a nice list of crafty people that would actually enjoy one of my cards. My mom enjoys them. My sisters enjoy them. My wife is kind of like, meh. I mean, she likes it when I make her a card, but she's not like totally impressed by it. Bonbon bon wants to send out cards overseas. That's sweet, Bonnie. She bought special stamps just to do it. Anyone want a card from Bonnie? Let her know. Okay, Lisa, you guys, especially if you already have my, if you're on my list, my mailing list, my newsletter, just um, send me an email. Send me an email with your address in it, and I'll have it. And if you're not on my email list, and you want to be, all you have to do is text a-R-T-I-E, that's Artie, to 66866. Six, 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 six. Okay, we have the, ma the mask made. Why do I have so much fun doing this? I don't understand it. Today I was listening to 
Christmas music and I started just tearing up because it just brought back so many memories of being a kid and uh, I feel like the world is so messed up and I thought to myself you know why they put Christmas or why they put not Christmas but why they put the election just like a month and a half before Christmas I thought to myself, I'm glad they did that because then at Christmas time we can forgive everybody and forget all the horrible things <laughs> and just try to bless each other. Because I miss, I kind of miss my, the world where we at least got along and respected each other and cared for each other yes it's a really rough world and I'm tired of all the fighting and fussing and just made up drama made up so much made up junk like from both sides of every issue <laughs> thanks Bonnie that's sweet <laughs> all right see that I have the flower right there. What color are we going to make this thing? For a lot of people, the world really is a lot harder than for other people, and I understand that. But let's, uh, the, and I did it again, so whoever, well, no, I can do it that way. <laughs> I didn't put the ink in there. Like Frosty's hat. What color was Frosty's hat? Marcy Joe. What color was Frosty's hat? Does anyone remember? Was it black? It was black, wasn't it? Pink. Black with a pink a pink flower, Sammy says. Okay. You know what? <laughs> the other day, when I was uh, coloring in the... I was coloring in those uh, mice around the tree. I had an issue. You guys were wanting me to color in. The little nose is pink, and I didn't do it. And I was going to, and I just, it totally slipped my mind. Like, I can be thinking about something one second, and then get distracted, and then totally, absolutely forget about it. So I'm going to use B29, or BV29, BV25. Those are blue velvet, blue velvet, blue violet numbers. And I'm going to use an N9. And then I'm going to use a BV23. And I'm going to use a yellow orange for the uh, underpainting. Let's see. YR04 seems a little dark, doesn't it? Let's try YR. I don't have any other YRs in there. Let's do a different YR. YR. YR 12. We'll see if this works out here. YR 12. So let's do the fence there. And we'll do one down here, down here, down here. So that's where the shading is going to be for the blue violet. So 
Let's do BV29. Let's do our fence. I always forget to do my fence. I'm going to color that whole thing in blue-violet 29. Oops, it got a little crazy there. I didn't color that out enough. And now I'm going to do BV25. Just starting at the, at the beginning and going all the way out past what I already colored. I'm not lifting my pin up enough, apparently. Should be flicking more. And then a BV23. And this paper, if you look closely, blends so much better. It's made specifically for blending. You can get this at Simon Says Stamp. Express it. It's specifically made for Copic markers or alcohol markers. Oops. It's BV25. I thought I had another BV that was in the middle of those. Let's do that. And that. All right, now I like to use the contrasting colors. But for this one, I'm going to use a kind of a um, a black. Let's do. We want to make it look even blacker than what the others are. So we're going to use a C10, C8. Let's see, and a special black. We'll do that. Just going to be a different black. It's going to be more like a. Silk ribbon, maybe satin ribbon. And watch how I make that look more like a satin ribbon. You'll see in just a second. That's a special black marker, it's called C110, or sorry, uh, just 110. And this is C8 or C10. And then this is C8. I'm just going to blend those. But see that little bit of shine right there? It's not light enough. Thank you. I'm glad you like the flower, Karen. All right. This guy was way behind on comments again. Okay, see this white? This is a white polychromos chromos pencil. I'm just going to take some of it and lighten up that area right there. Uh, isn't that cool? It just really lightens that up perfectly. Look at it more closely there. See that? All right. And now I'm going to... We need to make the flower pink, right? You guys wanted pink? All right. So we'll do pink flowers. 
a pink flower. I'm going to use a little bit of green, a light green. Let's see, where's my lightest green? A very, very light green. G24. I think we can do better than that. That's YG. We'll do GO2. And we'll underpaint this. I didn't know Frosty had a pink hat or a pink flower in his hat. Are you guys just making that up? And then I'm going to do my darkest red just on the inside there. But we'll lighten that, the rest of it up considerably. Just want to make sure that all the green is colored in. You don't want to leave any green in there. And then we'll do R27, just barely on the outside of that. Lighten it up a little bit. R24. It's still kind of red, right? We're going to lighten that all up with pink here in a minute. This is really super fast coloring. And now let's do the lightest. This is an R32. And we will color the whole thing in with that. Here I'm just kind of uh, blending it in. This paper is really beautiful for Copics. Oh my goodness. I never knew how much of a difference a paper could make until I actually tried this. And it really does make a world of difference. All right, in the middle. What color should we do the middle, guys? Express it Copic blending paper. Yep, that's exactly what it is. If you guys want my affiliate link for Simon Says Stamp, which is not what we're actually doing tonight. but I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> this is Express It. It's called Express It. x dash. P-R-E-S-S. -S. Type that in your search on uh, the link I just put up there for you if you need it. Yellow. A yellow middle. Let's do this YR number here. YR. 21. We'll do this YR. It's kind of a Kind of a yellow. Let no. We got this Y seventeen, Y nineteen. Have any other Ys? I have lots of Ys, but <laughs> thank you, Amy. I'm glad you like the hat. All right. Let's color this in. Reds are really hard to move, so if you try, if you overcolor that that with a little bit of red, you're going to be in trouble. Let's 
So try not to overcolor with red. That's YR21, so I'm going to knock things back there just a little bit. Now I want to deepen things up a little bit, so let's see. That, that looks better. Frosty's flower had a blue center. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's too late now, my friends. I gave it a yellow center. <laughs> Thought it was purple. Guess I'm going colorblind along with my other aging melodies. Well, the hat is actually purple, but it's, it's uh, giving the look of black, so... You know, in certain lights, like when you're outside, if you use purples, it helps uh, give the look of a of black if you're using Copic markers. Pro tip there for you. <laughs> All right, where were we on addresses? I'm going to go up and find where we started doing addresses. I'm going to get the third address that showed up for me. All right, where am I at? Where am I at? All the way up. Let's go further. It's not upside down. That was unique. That was funny. I got to keep going up, up, up. Wow, you guys have been commenting away. Now I'm hitting the comments. Now I'm hitting the addresses. My mom is here. Hey, mom. I didn't see you pop in there. Lisa, the undercoloring, underpainting gives the desaturation to the look. It adds kind of like shadow to it. I have got to go way up for this. Let's see. I cannot find the addresses. I'm so sorry. All right. I'm going to, because I'm having trouble finding the addresses, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. I'm going to go do like I do a giveaway. And I'm just going to stop at a name. And the name that I stopped at is Brandon Leggett. Brandon, pop in your address for me, buddy, if you don't mind sharing it here. And I will address this to you, my friend. And remember, if you want to join my mailing list, then just uh, send me your address to... Um, you can send it here. I don't mind. I will, you know what? I think I'm going to do an automated page for that so that I can keep them all in an address book. That'll be better. All right. So I'm just going to write in here, Brandon It's only if you don't mind me having your address out on the on the interwebs. Leg it. L E G G. I T T. There we go. Brandon Leggett. My mom's name is Brenda West. There we go. 507 Gerald Street. Five oh seven Gerald. Street, and that is in Osceola, tomorrow is my mama's birthday, 
Osceola, Wisconsin. Five four zero two zero. All right, Brandon, that one's for you, my friend. <laughs> Man, we've got we've got three of these done already. Isn't that fun? So we got a purple one, we've got a green one, and we've got a black one. Blue violet ish. <laughs> So, happy birthday to my mama. I want everyone to know about it. She's my favorite, favorite mom in the whole world. <laughs> Marcy, my handwriting, I am not great, but I am trying. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. Thanks for wishing my mom a happy birthday, everybody. So these have hats, right? The outside has hats. So you might want to do a card that matches the inside, right? Oh my gosh, it's 1047. I'm not even sleepy. I think it's because I had this coffee. Right before I came on. Is my camera even up there? It's not. Should we do a card, guys? Should we do a card? I'm just not sleepy, so I know that this is a really long <laughs> it's a really long video, but I'm not tired. So I guess we can just keep going. If you have to slip off somewhere, go for it. But I ain't tarred. Not yet. Alright, let's do a card with the hat. There must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found. Was when they placed it on his head. He began to dance around, Frosty the Snowman. I just got a message from, oh, that was my sister. I thought it was Amy. Amy, let's see. Make sure Amy didn't send me something that I need to see right now. Uh, yes, you can do two. Okay. So we're, uh, Amy sent me a message saying we can do two, we're going to do two giveaways of the stamp set we're using tonight. So that would be two giveaways of the Frosty's Hat stamp set. Isn't that cool? That's so cool. All right. So I'm just going to do a card base here. Four and a quarter. We'll do this one since we already have it out. Four and a quarter. That can go right there. Right there. So nice of her, right? That's so nice. I made two card bases. Maybe we'll do two cards. I don't know. I'm just not sleepy, guys. I am loaded for bear. All right. I need a regular Misty, I think. Maybe not. I can do this. All right. You guys, should I do my, let's do a different flower in here. Let's do, ah, let's do this holly berries in here. Like right, right there. Yeah, that's where I want it. All right, I'm gonna move my, 
flower there. Get my intensified black ink. Boom, 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 boom. Off work tomorrow, so you're sticking with me, huh, Mom? Mom Snoozy 3? I don't know what your name is. <laughs> Throwing seven different kinds of smoke, Daniel. What you mean, Don? I am just crazy over here. Yeah. I am loaded for bear. All right. Let's see how much of this I need to mask off. Let's see. I need to do... Can I get by with just doing that? I may be able to get by just doing that. No. But I may be able to just do this. Sometimes you don't need to mask off everything, like details. Sometimes you can just pop in a corner or something like that, because that's generally the shape of the, the thing you're masking off. So basically that's it right there. Mm, kind of. I think I'm going to end up just stamping this thing and masking it with a real mask here. Is Amy out of here? All right, you know what? I'm going to do a giveaway before you guys leave. I'll do one giveaway now, and then we'll do one for those who stay with me the whole night. So, <laughs> woo, this is fun. Okay, I'm going up and down, up and down. And this is for one of the Frosty Hats, Frosty's Hat uh, stamp sets. Let's see, where it lands, nobody knows. Ah, Lisa Fitzpatrick won tonight. So, Lisa, you write to Belle at Colorado Craft Company, and she will hook you up with your Frosty's hat stamp set. And I bet you already ordered that one, because I know you. If you already did order it, <laughs> let me know. I'm just going to cut this out kind of sloppily. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm not doing like ink blending around it or anything. I just want to make sure that I don't get a lot of ink inside my flower or my uh, holly and berries. Congratulations, Lisa. So I have one more to give away, and we'll do that at the end of tonight's show. Let's see. Get that. Almost done. Pretty quick job here. Let's get this mask done. Sorry, I'm not on camera. I got so excited about cutting something. <laughs> I feel like a kindergartner. All right, all right. Congratulations, Lisa. Lisa Fitz Patrick. Okay. Let's ink this puppy up. Oh, yeah, I didn't see what you said, Lisa. I am sorry. Could you repeat it for me? And I'll look for your comment. Or you guys tell me what Lisa said. Night, Mama. I don't think my mom's much of a night owl. Well, 
one of my where's my get a nice impression there. There we go. Oh, Lisa says that she already ordered this one. Do you want me to pick someone else or do you want to pick a different stamp set? They might they might let you pick another stamp set. You let me know. All right, we're going to color the leaves first. So I'm underpainting here with R32. Right. And then I'm going to G29 it. Covering in all the red. Okay, so she says I can pick someone else. All right, here we go. I'm going to pick someone else real quick. And it stopped at Mary Gilmer. Mary Gilmer, you're the winner. Is Mary still here? Mary, you are the the alternative. Lisa gave up her stamp set. was so kind. Thank you, Lisa. Very sweet of you. Please know, I always, when I pick someone, it's always random. So, I know Lisa has won a few, a few times. But I honestly do the uh, giveaways very randomly. To be fair. So, Mary... Gilmer, are you here, my friend? Are you still around? All right, let's do the next green. Do I have a G? I have a metal G here. That's G05. Now, this is very simplistic um, coloring, Copic coloring. I'm basically coloring this leaf the same way twice which is okay. And then we'll do a lighter green all the way out to the edge to blend those in. Oh, oh, Mary also already has this one. Well, Mary, it's up to you. Do you want me to pick another winner, or do you want to pick another stamp set? Because it's your win. It's your it's your prize. You pick, and there's nothing wrong with picking another stamp set, probably. <laughs> you tell me. All right, what do you think of that coloring right there? Okay, so Mary says to pick another winner. I haven't seen her say that, but you tell me to pick another winner and I will, or if you want to pick another stamp set, you can do that. That's also fun. Also very fine. All right, we're going to do, let's do a black cat with red stripe again. I like that idea. C8, C10. But we're going to do the... The, the satin stripe is a BV, and then the, the hat is the, the grays. How about that? My faithful, my faithful Arties. Thank you, Mary. Mary said to pick another winner. Okay, so let's pick another winner here. It goes to... Lana Banana, I'm kidding. Lana by Lana Design. She says, I love that combo. <laughs> so Lana is the next winner. If you don't have this stamp set, you can have it. It's yours. All right, let's start out by doing my 
fence here. Right there, and then we'll flick out this way. Lana Banana, did I say that right? <laughs> or is it Lana? Is it Lana Banana? I love it. Okay, very good, Lana. Lana is the winner then. You you write Bell, this address right here, Bell at Colorado Craft Company dot com. Yep, keep your comments in, and that's how you get entered into the giveaway. Yes, you get this stamp set right here. So this is C10. It's a cool gray. Let's get a little bit more of that in there. This is C8. Just a little bit lighter. Then C10. Oh, this, it is exciting, right, Lana? Lana, Lana. Okay, Cindy, we've got one more chance tonight. We never know. And then we have, I need to get a lighter C. Let's do a C5. Or maybe I can, if I do have that here, that's an N5. Let's look for a C5. C six C five and maybe this one here. Let's do that. This is C five. Just laying that down pretty quickly, and then a C three, and I'm going to use that to blend these together a bit, except that that is really empty. I need to refill that guy. That's okay, we'll just do this right here. Like that. <laughs> All right. Let's do this here. And this down here. And this right here. We'll do C8. Down here in the bottom. I'm going to darken up the center in here a little bit. Like that. And then C5, right there in the middle. And let's do the BV. Have some fun with the BV. It's neutral. Here's my BVs. BV29. Just a 
more of a blue. It's even cooler than your cool grays. A blue violet. Like that. And the 23. How about if we add that plaid in there? What do you think? Do I still have my mask here? find my what did I do with my mask I'll just do that there we go that's fun and now I'm going to do the red berries here so I'm going to do that with the R29 just do this Kind of like this, just do a on the bottoms a little bit of this rounded edge here, and then a little bit more with the R27. And then we'll do R24. We're almost done. Oh, I forgot to color in that part of the hat, didn't I? Well, let's do it. C8. Just a little bit of that hat out there. Like that. Isn't that cool? All right. I love it. I love it. A red hat would be cool. Absolutely. Yep. Get you a white, a white colored pencil and get that satin go, that satin look going on. <laughs> you can just add a little bit of light here and there. Maybe you want to add a little bit of light to the rim of the hat. Add a little bit of light here to the berry. You could do that with a, a gel pen as well. If you want. Let's color in any little spaces there that are too white. I forgot. I've got to do a blog post for tomorrow. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock and I haven't written my, well, I've done my project, but I haven't written about it. So I've got to go do that. But let's get a sentiment in here. And look at this little swish symbol here. I like that. It's really fun. I'm just going to slap that on a round acrylic block. Get some ink on it. And stamp that right there. Isn't that cool? Makes it look like it's moving. Right? I think so too, Tracy. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Mom Snoozy 3. <laughs> the gel pen is great, but it doesn't make the satin look, right? But Mary, that's exactly right. It doesn't give the, the look of satin. Thanks, Melissa. You like the Believe one, huh? Me too. Let's put that on there. Do I have it? I took it out and I put it somewhere. I took it out and put it somewhere.
Did I use it in a Misty when I stamped it? Or did I stamp it with my acrylic block? I think I stamped it with my acrylic block. I put it on there, didn't I? You guys tell me where it is. Tell me where the Believe stamp is that I had. I'm going to pick up my markers and see if it's under here somewhere. Yeah, here's the complete stamp set. Let's look at the complete stamp set. I'm going to put it under some paper so you guys can see it better. There's the complete stamp set. Isn't that fun? Oh my goodness, I am famous for misplacing my stamps. I, oh, here it is. There we go. So there are lots of sentiments in here. Merry Christmas would be good. I really like that Merry Christmas one too, but I like the Believe because it really goes with Frosty's hat. Believe in the magic of Christmas is also good. Happy Holidays would be nice there. So you got lots of options. There's also a poinsettia there, which is cool. Merry Christmas would be fun right there. But I do like that, believe. Right there. And it makes it an all-purpose card. All right, let's get this in a misty so that I can get make sure that I don't mess up my project. Let's see. I have here's a misty that's free of any projects. Yes, the possibilities are endless. It's just a really great all-around stamp set. And I find that, that Colorado Craft Company stamp sets are like that. I mean, they just really are versatile. They try to add in uh, some versatile sentiments with every one of them. And I think they're just so fantastic, so well thought out. I'm going to show you the whole November release before the giveaway now. There we go. All right. Now on the inside, you can also stamp a sentiment, which is fun. So I'm going to do that as well. Oh, I about knocked my camera over there. I'm going to get this Believe in the Magic of Christmas. And I'm going to put it in the inside. Yeah, the mixed fonts are fun. Now, if you're using Copics and this happens, just slap another piece of cardstock behind it. Or you can cut that panel off and start, uh, pop it up on another card base. It's up to you. There we go. Believe in the magic of Christmas. <laughs> it was right in front of me, Carolee. It was right in front of me. <laughs> okay. So there it is. Isn't that fun? Lots of dimension in there. It looks lots of shadows and curves and just adds a lot of fun to the project. I just love that card. Love it. All right. So the other items in this month's release, and you can get 15% off right now using code DellenArty. See that? I'll show you right there. See that right there? There is your code, say 15% using code DellenArty15. DellenArty15. Oh, thanks, Bonbon. Bon. I could have just put it right there and I put it up on my desk. Isn't that funny? 
All right, so we played with this one this month. This is the, I, I took the backing out of it. It is the welcome, welcome time, I think. Welcome, welcome, wonderful time. That's it, <laughs> wonderful time. Stamp set, it's an Anita Jerem set. We have the gnome, big and bold gnome, the, the uh, slimline poinsettias, the slimline snowflakes, the savvy sentiments Christmas set. The, oh, I'm not even, look, I'm not even showing you guys. Here's the, the sentiment set, and here is the All Weather Friends set, which I love. I love them all, but I mean, I'm just saying, this is one of those stamp sets that you, I think I could use forever, forever and ever. Look at those beautiful snowflakes, slimline, slimline poinsettias. Look at the uh, awesome scripts and, and uh, sentiments on there. I found another stamp set, another stamp from a different set. <laughs> the Slimline Gnome. Ooh, I found an envelope I made and didn't, that, I made that yesterday and didn't know where I put it. <laughs> and here is the uh, wonderful time stamp set. So fun. All right, all of those can be uh, yours, 15% off. Anything in the store is 15% off right now, so you can get whatever you want if you use code Delinardi right here. That code right there. You guys ready? Okay, I'm wondering... My uh, music's not playing. <laughs> I don't know why, but there's no music. I can't hear the music. How about now? There we go. <laughs> That's great. That's an applause for the uh, for the discount, guys. It's really great. And all you have to do is go here. There's your link for Colorado Craft Company and if you need the supplies list there's the link thank you for supporting my channel by using those links uh, that first link is for Colorado Craft Company you don't need to use my affiliate link for them um, I have affiliate links in the supplies list for future so if you're watching this now um, you can use just coloradocraftcompany.com and use my code when the code doesn't work anymore, uh, which it will expire uh, probably tomorrow night, I think. Tomorrow night's the second, so probably, I think there, there's another release coming this month, maybe. I'm not sure. I haven't heard about it, so um, what was I going to tell you? Use my affiliate links whenever I'm not uh, doing a coupon, so that's how it works. Okay. All right, are we ready? We're gonna do a, a giveaway here. I'm gonna stop on a comment and the winner gets a Frosty's Hat stamp set. And the winner is Linda Hobbs. Linda Hobbs, you won the stamp set tonight. You write, uh, she said, happy birthday, mom. That's what she said. <laughs> Thank you for wishing my mom a happy birthday, Linda. Linda, are you here? Just write a note to Bell at Colorado Craft Company dot com and tell her I want a I won Frosty's hat stamp set, a Frosty's hat stamp set from Daniel on his live show tonight, and they will ship that out there out to you. Just make sure you give them your address too. <laughs> All right, and they watch, so they know who the winners are. So. I really appreciate you guys all hanging out with me tonight. Thank you so much. Um, there's always a supplies list in the in the box below if you wanted to see the other things that I used tonight. Um, I can update that the the list um, for other items that I may have used during the show tonight that are not in the list. 
But if there's anything in there that you can't find in that list and you want it, just write me. You can write me at, uh, De at uh, delandardy at gmail.com and I answer you. Or you can go to my Facebook page and write me a note there in Messenger. I always answer those. Just ask my friends, ask people who write me all the time, and I get back to them. So I love each and every one of you. I want to give you a happy thought before we leave. How about that? A happy thought before we leave. Uh, I want to thank those of you who sent super chats before I do my happy thought. Thank you so much for that. Just want to give you a round of applause again. We we did really good on super chats tonight. Thank you. Um, a happy thought. So I went to get my COVID test today. My my follow up test, which you take to uh, excuse me, no, I'm yawning. To test to see if you can, you can uh, go back to work or whatever, but it's just a follow up test because I'm all done with symptoms and all that, and the whole family actually is done with symptoms. No one has symptoms anymore, and I thank God for that. What I was thinking was about Christmas and what that means to me and why everyone celebrates that and why everyone um, was excited is excited every year about Christmas. It's more than gifts, right? There's something else about it. Oh no, Carolee, I'm so sorry. Uh, maybe I have no idea how that could happen, but um, if you want to chat with me, Sarah, I don't, I don't think I can just PM you, my friend. You need to you need to send me a message on my page. So go to facebook.com slash Arty. And send me a message there, because that's how you can contact me. So, Carolee, I'm not sure how you do that. Maybe if you want to try again real quick, I don't know. Um, but anyway, so everyone's excited about Christmas time. A lot of people are hurting at Christmas time, and difficult. It's difficult for some people. But uh, the reason people celebrate Christmas, why do we celebrate Christmas? It's actually because Someone special was born at Christmas. Someone who actually, no matter what you believe in 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 uh, religion or faith wise, this man changed the world, absolutely changed the world. So if you're a Christian or not a Christian, Christmas is a celebration of the birth of someone who taught some very powerful lessons and and some very powerful ideas that are actually the basis for much of Western civilization and have affected the entire world when it comes to what we expect about treating other human beings. So um, I, as a Christian, have certain ideas about this man and why I follow him and why I believe in him. But uh, whether you put your faith and trust in him or not, he actually changed the world. So today I'm at the doctor's office getting um, my COVID test. And the doctor uh, wants to know what I do for work. And so I told him that I'm a pastor and, um, oh, what kind of church is it? And he is this guy, this African guy. He's a young African man. Uh, just super, you can totally tell he's a super intelligent, bright person who uh, has really thought things through. And uh, he says that when he was young, he was training to be a priest, a Catholic priest, and uh, really enjoyed his early seminary days. And uh, he left that idea for, or that pursuit to become a doctor. But the point was, he began to talk to me about uh, faith and ideas about Jesus and, and different things. And he just, uh, his eyes lit up when we started talking about those things. And I love that, um, that he felt comfortable to talk with me about that. And I think it's important for all of us to have um, an openness 
and openness. And I'm not preaching to anybody, and I'm not, of course, I don't expect everyone to believe what I believe about things, but but a real true openness and, and a real true desire to know what is actually true about Jesus and about God. And if you can actually find a heart and a, and a hunger and a desire to know about Jesus and about God and about what the, what they mean. I, I think it's so important if you're not a Christian, even if you're not a Christian, maybe even especially if you're not a Christian, um, look into what, uh, this Jesus did. And, um, he was Jewish, actually. He was born in a Jewish family, raised in a Jewish family. Uh, he wasn't a white guy, blonde-haired, blue-eyed guy from Europe. He was uh, a Jewish man, um, born in a Jewish family, lived a Jewish life. Uh, Second, Second Temple Judaism, when, when they had synagogues already. So he was a rabbi, even. He became a teacher and he taught some things that, that were just revolutionary. And I just want to encourage you to, to look into what he taught and to think about what he taught because we're headed into Christmas time. And the first word in Christmas is Christ. And that's the Greek word for the Hebrew word Messiah. So Christos is a, is a Greek word for the Hebrew word Messiah, which means the anointed one, the one that God chose and uh, I think it's important for all of us to know more about him. And I think the answer to all of our political and cultural and problems in the world are solved through not the fake politicized gospel, because just because you take a Bible out doesn't mean that you believe it. But the real gospel, the true gospel that you can find in the Bible, and that can transform our entire world. But it starts with people like you. So I just want to encourage you that way. I'm not preaching at you. I just want to leave you with that happy thought tonight. And if that makes you mad, I hope it doesn't make you mad. But um, if it does, sorry about that. But... um there's some really interesting things that, that Jesus taught. And I, I'm sorry to say that the world has really become very, very ignorant of, of what the Bible actually teaches. And I'm sorry to say that the church in the United States has, has become politicized and has ignored Jesus' teachings in many areas. And it doesn't have to be you don't have to be any political party, one color or another, one age or another, educated or uneducated, to follow what this man taught. Love your neighbor and love God. All right, guys, that's the beautiful, sweet, kind, happy thought for tonight. And I love you all, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week here. I may be back again this week. That's right, Shalona. It's hard to hate when your heart's full of love. So, um, I am too, Melanie. I'm glad I, I'm glad you stuck around. <laughs> so, uh, just have a good week. I may be back on the third. That's in two days. I may be back again for another session, but, uh, I want to color in the winter girl, the lovely legs winter girl. We haven't done that yet, and I want to do that. So I'm starting to yawn, so you know I'm getting tired. All right, guys, I love you all. Have a wonderful night. Take care.